What's up? Today we're diving into some awesome tips for using A-B testing in our automation builder. A-B testing is a fantastic way to optimize your marketing strategies. By comparing two versions of your automation, you can see which one performs better and drives more engagements and sales. First up, let's talk about card abandonment. It's crucial to recover those lost sales. With A-B testing, you can experiment with different timings for your reminder emails. Test sending your reminders one hour after card abandonment versus 12 hours, for example. See which timing gets more conversions. Next, let's look at welcome automations. Should you send an SMS or an email to greet new subscribers? Every audience is different and prefers different communication channels. And A-B testing is one way to try out what sticks. Welcome emails set the tone for new subscribers, so you could also try A-B testing different angles, like sharing your brand story versus highlighting product benefits. And the best part, both of these tests can run simultaneously and I'll show you how that will look later. Now you could also ask if images make a difference. Test emails with images versus text-only emails. Find out if your audience prefers visually rich emails or simple text-focused ones. Discounts are also a powerful motivator. AB tests different discount offers to find the sweet spot. Determine which discount percentage drives more conversions without hurting your margins. Setting up an AB test in OmniSend is simple. Let me walk you through it. Okay, so I mentioned that I'm gonna show you how to set up the welcome automation AB test running simultaneously. So let me start with that. So let's pick the welcome automation preset and let's get creating. And we are taken to the automation builder. So let's wait one minute and then let's split the audience into two different segments or an A-B test. So we split the participants 50 by 50 and this is the default. You can adjust it if you like. And we're going to take the angle of a different approach to the email itself. So let's move this email to the A spot. Let's pop another email over here. And just for demo purposes, I'm going to say that this is the brand story and this is going to be called product highlights. So these are two different paths you can take and you can see which email would perform better. But you can take this a little bit further. You can split the A-B test into another A-B test. So for example, let's take this, split the participants 50-50 and let's include an email into the first one and an SMS in the second one to see which angle works best and which messaging channel works best. It's not a standard practice. It's usually best to just focus on a single A-B test and then make adjustments as you go. But if you're like very short on time, you really need to get this out really fast. Sure, go ahead. You can place both of these A-B tests running simultaneously and then you can see which one would perform the best. So the message text would be brand story. Just something that you could look at. Brand story, brand story, email, SMS. Let's jump over here and let's do the same thing. A-B test, product highlights, email over here and an SMS over here. Product highlights. And we are done. We can just start the workflow. Of course, I cannot because this email is not really set up yet. Nothing is really set up yet. But once you set everything up, you can just start the workflow and see these numbers start rolling in and then make adjustments as necessary. Now let's get back to the automation presets. Create workflow and let me show you the abandoned card. So we have the default one, which includes free messages one by one, but you can also test if maybe one message would be enough, if sending all three of them is important. For this, I'm gonna delete all these next messages and only keep the first one. So I'm gonna make an A-B test immediately after the subscriber enters this workflow and I'm gonna include an email over here and I'm just gonna clone it for now and add it to the B1. And I'm gonna add the delay block. In this one, I'm gonna enter one hour. And for this one, we're gonna make it 12 hours. Or you can make it any other number, time period you want. In my case, it's gonna be one hour versus 12 hours. Which one would perform better? Is it an almost immediate call to action? Hey, you items are selling out fast. Maybe you don't wanna miss it. Or is it giving your customers more time to think about it? that's really gonna work for you. So the time period really depends on your audience and every audience is unique in some way. There are some like standard practices that you should follow, but you should really adapt to what your subscribers really want. Whether it's SMS or an email communication channel, whether it's waiting longer or shorter, really depends on them. And this is the way you can find out. And remember, these were just some general tips to get you started. There are a million different ways to fine tune your automations to create your best performers. Start testing today and watch your engagement and sales soar. Thanks for watching, and I think you might be interested in this video. Mm -hmm. You know, I really wanted to have some A-B testing features for videos. You e-commerce merchants are very like, you have good tools, A-B testing is great.